Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. We are back today with an old favourite. I've been back to the land where everything used to be one pound, but now a few things are 50p, a few things are random prices, and the odd naughty item is a fiver. I've been back to Poundland, and I have a Poundland haul for you. If you're watching this on Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. I thought, as it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to spoil you, so here we are with the Poundland haul. Don't say that I don't know how to treat you. I've got a few things to show you that I picked up in store and also at the end of this video I'm going to be showing you something that I found in a skip or a dumpster if you're from outside of the UK so basically on the way home I spied something and I thought oh I'll have that. So if that sort of thing gets you excited, then stay tuned for that as well. Before we get going, if you're new here, do click subscribe. I post new videos every single week. And if you like a haul, I do post a few hauls on this channel. I'm a little bit of a shopaholic and I love a bargain. I also share anything that I've spied in shops that I think you'll like, especially things that are in the sale or anything that's really good value, over on my Instagram, which is Mr. Carrington or Mr. Carrington Home. And I also love doing DIY and home update kind of videos as well. And I've got a few bits of organisational and a few bits of homeware in this haul to show you as well. So hopefully you'll like what I've got to show you today. Now the reason I went to Poundland was because I needed some loo roll and I find that Poundland is actually a really good shout if you are just after any loo roll or also any cleaning products and that sort of thing. They've always got a really good range in there of branded and non-branded items as well and I picked up this four pack of Andrex Skin Kind Clean Ripple, ooh, <laughs> uh, texture and soft smooth prebiotic lotion. I wish I hadn't started reading that, you really don't need to know this sort of detail. But you get four luxury rolls in here for two pounds, which I thought was pretty good value. And yeah, it's got the dog on there that we all want in our lives. Also a little tip for you, I like to go into store first thing in the morning when it's nice and quiet as well. And yeah. I was gonna say, I'll let you know how I get on with these, but I probably won't. I'll often let you know how I do get on with things, but maybe not with Lugol. <laughs> you don't need to know that sort of thing. But I also got some hand wash while I was in store. So I picked up this one, which I've never seen before, and it is the Totally Tangy Tangerine Hand Wash. And this, again, if you've watched previous Poundland hauls of mine, you'll notice that I've picked up a few things that I thought looked rather similar to Lush. I think they're kind of going there with the font on here, aren't they, in the design of the packaging. It looks like something you'd pick up in Lush or maybe in the body shop as well. It's giving me that kind of feel with this. So let's give it a little sniff and I'll let you know what I think because that sort of thing is important. We can't be showing you hand washes without sniffing them now, can we? Oh, it's quite nice, you know. Nice and fresh, nice as we're going into spring. Hurry up, please, spring. It's snowing outside as I'm filming this. And it says, lather up and leave your hands feeling clean, fruity, and fresh because you are simply the zest. Steady on now, Poundland, with your rhyming. And this is 280 mil. Now, with the amount of hand wash that we're all getting through lately, I don't know about you, but quite often the containers don't really float my boat. They're not giving me the vibes. So I picked up this in store for one pound, which I think is such a fantastic price for this ribbed glass design soap dispenser. And it has the chrome lid. This one is kind of like a very pale blue, but you can barely see that. They also had just a clear glass one, but actually I thought the slight blue in this kind of made it look a bit nicer. It almost makes it look a bit like a gray, but it's more like the blue of my sofa. So it's like a grey blue. <laughs> they also had one more colour in there, I think, but they didn't have the full set. So I've actually gone for the full set of these because I thought for one pound, this sort of thing, I think it's brilliant. You could almost use this for other things. I'm thinking maybe if you take the lid off, it'd even make quite a nice little vase, that, wouldn't it? It looks like those old medicine bottles, you know, from back in the day. You used to have your poison in there, but I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> but I thought, yeah, really good for one pound. Steady on pound land. Starting to think you're Zara home, aren't you? Look at this to go with it. We have a tumbler. Now you could probably, could you drink out of that? Maybe not, because you might end up dribbling because it's, <laughs> it's got a serrated edge going on. So maybe, maybe we won't drink out of that. But again, I thought very nice. Keep the toothbrushes in there. Or we could probably pop a tea light into that at your own risk, or use an LED one, because sometimes glass can crack, can't it? But it does say toilet, toilet brush, what am I on about? It says toothbrush holder on the label underneath. I do like to read labels if you're new to my channel. 
I like to give you full detail. This one says soap dispenser on the label. And then I've got one more from the family to show you. So this is cousin cotton bud holder and his actual official name is a trinket pot on the label. And this one has a chrome lid on it. But yeah, I'm thinking cotton buds in here. What are you thinking in there? Let me know in the comments. But we could again use that to pop a candle in. You could take the lid off and it would be quite nice, wouldn't it? I'd imagine if you put a candle in here, that would send a really nice pattern around your table because you put the beveled edge so it would send out a nice pattern. So yeah, if you have a go at that, let me know. Or if I do it, I'll share it as well and let you know. So next up, we have another candle. I do love my candles, as um, you may know already. And this one, I think this was actually in their Valentine's section, and it is Wild Jasmine Scented Candles. Now let's be real here, the scented candles in Poundland aren't often that great, are they? If you've ever given them a little sniff, or if you've burnt them in your home, they're not getting us too excited, generally speaking. But this one, I have to say, I've given it a little sniff and I was very impressed. It's actually got quite a lot of fragrance to it. I would say it smells heavily perfumed. It smells very feminine, very fragrant. What's it called? Wild Jasmine. Yeah, I mean, it smells like a good one, you know. For one pound, very impressed with that because the fragrance is strong. I'm not sure how it'll burn, but yeah, for one pound, very impressed. But also the fact that it comes on these little legs. So what I'm going to do with this one is a little upcycle. So I'm thinking we'll DIY this and I'll probably turn it into a little planter. I might change the colour of the legs. What if we go matte black with the legs and then I might do a rattan design on the top part and that will completely transform that and we'll put a little cactus in there. What are we thinking? <laughs> Let me know what you would do with that. Would you keep it as a candle holder or would you change it into a little planter? But I thought for a quid, very impressed indeed. Loving that. Thank you, Poundland. Now, random thing alert, but it is Valentine's Day, so <laughs> look at this. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to propose to you, but we have here, where are you? An engagement ring. Now, this was a men's engagement ring. They also had women's engagement rings in store as well with kind of little um, stones on them. I mean, I'm sure they're not, yeah, of course they're not gemstones. I don't know what they're made out of, probably plastic. And this one here, it says ring size 11, and it says the standby engagement ring, the ask him ring. So essentially, I think the idea of these is it says, take the leap and do the asking because he might never get around to it. I thought that this was actually just quite a nice ring. And I thought I would pick one up just to have. I thought this might be a good idea for any of you as well that are married and maybe you want to kind of keep a wedding ring on, but maybe you were traveling or maybe you're gonna be doing something where you might end up losing it. Have any of you ever lost a wedding ring? Let me know in the comments down below. I think that's quite common, isn't it? They can go missing, can't they, in things like swimming pools. That can happen. And I don't know, maybe it's gone down the sink down the toilet. Let me know if you have ever lost a wedding ring or an engagement ring or something precious like that and did it turn up again. But yeah, I thought if you just wanted to wear one but then you wanted to not wear your actual one, one of these could be really handy. So yeah, uh, if you need a ring in your life, I feel like we're gonna burst into <laughs> Beyonce in a minute, um, then this could be a good shout to you. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop that in with my other bits of jewellery, but do you know what, I'll probably just wear that. Quite nice, I'll wear it on that hand, can't I? Quite a nice little simple ring, that one. It's a shame they didn't have any silver ones. They might have done, but I didn't spy any. So yeah, that just ended up falling in the basket. A bit random, I know, but I thought I'd share it with you anyway. Now this is something that I'm very excited about because this, I think, is going to be really handy when I do go on my travels, or if I'm ever doing any jobs, I often like to get some food from down the supermarket. And if I'm staying in a hotel room, I'll make myself a nice little buffet on the bed. So we've got a situation with the hummus and a nice bit of salad, usually a box of Maltesers, which doesn't actually need cutlery. But often, it's either plastic cutlery from the supermarket, isn't it? Or you haven't got any in a hotel room. So I thought this could be really handy to keep in my suitcase or in my travel bag. And it is this cutlery set. So they only had pink in store, which I probably wouldn't have chosen, but it doesn't offend me, so here we are with the pink set. But if they do have other colours, I might pick myself 
up a different colour and give this one to my sister because it wouldn't be my first choice but as I say I mean it's cutlery isn't it so it doesn't really matter but it's a three piece it says swanky dining stuff cutlery set and in this little container we have the knife the fork and the spoon which I just thought would be so handy to keep with me at all times in my bag I did a what's in my bag recently in a vlog in case you're interested <laughs> in seeing what I do take around with me when I go anywhere. But um, yeah, I thought these are really good. Nice and solid, nice and sturdy. The knife feels like that's gonna get through, get through a little bit of steak, no bother. Not that <laughs> I'll be having steak on my travels anytime soon, but you know what it's like. You've got a yogurt and you haven't got a spoon and it's not good, is it? So now, I've got my set, I thought they'd be really good. Also for picnics and that sort of thing, and obviously with this being reusable, it will hopefully save on a lot of disposable cutlery use as well, which is always good. So yeah, really pleased with that. And hopefully um, they'll have some different colors in store as well. But for one pound, very impressed indeed. Now, as you might be watching this on Valentine's Day, I thought I'd get something that's gonna get us all going a little bit. I've got some plastic storage for the fridge. So this one, is one pound for the two, which again, I think is incredible value. And I've got a few of these in my fridge and I love putting these in the fridge to get everything organized. I feel like you can fit in a lot more when you can slide it out, if that makes sense. So you can put different things into each one. I keep all lemons in this one, actually. Lemons and limes go into there. But I've also got another one of these that's quite good for any small little pots. So you can put your little mustards or any little sauces in here as well. And then this size is quite good for things in packets like cheeses, meats, um, fish or meats and things like that. You can categorize them all, label them up. There's a little piece at the front here which would be big enough to put your label on. Or you could label it underneath here. You could do either or. But yeah, I think really good value if you're looking to get your fridge a little bit organized. You could also use these in your cupboards as well, but they might be a little bit too deep for cupboards. So do check the sizing of these. I thought really good when you get two like that. And as I said, I've got a few in my fridge and they have helped it get really organized. And the fact that you can slide it out and then just see what you've got in different categories in your fridge. Very handy indeed. And I also got a couple more uh, storage things for the fridge. And it's these wine bottle organizers. So you could also use this for all sorts of different things, I'm thinking. So they are stackable. So you can, with these, get more wine in your fridge, which for two pounds, I think is money well spent. You can slide them in this way, but also you could put other things into these. And I thought you could also use them to organize maybe craft supplies or things if you've got like a tool shed as well. I was thinking a few of these stacked up would be quite nice to pop tools in. So I'm thinking pliers, spanners, hammers. There we are, that sort of thing. Do you get me? Or on your desk even? So we've got options with these. But again, for one pound each, I thought pretty good value. Perspex storage containers can be very pricey, can't they? So I'm glad that Poundland are doing these and I hope that Poundland bring out more. I would quite like just some regular rectangle Perspex containers, please, Poundland. Nothing with a dip on it, no handles. We just want the rectangular shape, please. And thank you in different sizes, that would be very nice. And then finally, I picked up one of these. Now this impressed me and they have quite a few things in this range. They call this one a turner. I thought that was a fish slice. But there we are, they call it a turner and it says with wooden handle. So I was very impressed with this. I'm not sure if this would do well in the dishwasher to be honest with you. I feel like that might end up falling off. But I don't have a dishwasher so I haven't got that problem. But I just thought I'd mention that. And the label says turner as well. It says hand wash before first use. Oh, it does say hand wash only on the back. So there we go, warm soapy water. So yeah, it says it heats up to 200 degrees Celsius good to go with that one but I just thought with the wooden handle and a nice sturdy spady bit I don't know what you call that bit the bit for flipping <laughs> pretty good going for one pound they also had ladles they had spoons and they had the thing that's like a claw for lifting up spaghetti with but I don't know what you call that one either um but yeah good value I think for one pound each with a wooden handle as well looks quite nice and stylish doesn't it and even the copper detail on there too so yeah that is everything that I've got from Poundland let me know in the comments down below which item was your favorite and if you are going into Poundland to pick up your essentials let me know if any of these items will be falling into your basket as well and I forgot to show you what I found in the skip okay so this is it Ta-da! <laughs> it is, actually I don't know exactly what you call this. I'll get it out of its packet and show you. It says a ceiling 
Maestro made in England. So I think what this is actually for is for hanging a chandelier or a light fitting. And I want to get your ideas for this. But I've got a couple of ideas myself, but I thought it'd be good to get your thoughts on it. So I'm going to get it open and we'll have a good look at it. So this is it. It is something I think that goes onto the ceiling. It looks a bit grubby, but I think I can polish all that off. I think it just needs um, a good buff up with a cloth. And then I think you screw this part on and then you can either thread a light fitting. Yeah, the light cable goes through there and then it has the hook. So this is actually designed, I think, for like a chandelier or for a lantern that has a chain on it. But I thought that looked quite cool. But I might not do that with it. I might just use it for something else, like hanging something. I was thinking maybe I could screw this onto the ceiling and just use it for hanging like a macrame planter or something like that. So yeah, what do we think? I could even spray it a different color. But I thought as it was just there, going to landfill, I thought I'd have that. <laughs> so let me know um, what you think I should do with it. Could we put it that way? We could maybe attach it to like the wall or a headboard and you could have just like a single light bulb hanging from it. I thought that could be a vibe as well. Or do I put it out on the roof garden? We could use it out there, maybe put a lantern on it. All sorts of ideas. Let me know if you've got any ideas for that and let me know if you would have had it out of the skip as well or the dumpster if you saw it as well. <laughs> Don't worry, I will disinfect all this as well and give everything a good wash before it goes properly into the home and I'll wash my hands after finishing filming with you. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do give it a little thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here for brand new videos every single week. And don't forget, you can catch me over on Instagram that's also where I'll share anything that I spy in Poundland or other shops that I think you'll like but that don't end up in my basket or trolley. So I can share those items with you over there and I'll always save them to highlight so you can just click through anytime you like, pop the kettle on and see what is in store that way as well. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Do give it a little thumbs up if you did and enjoy the rest of your Valentine's Day if you're watching this on Valentine's Day. I hope you spoil yourself. So get yourself a box of Maltesers, crack them open <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your day. Do let me know what you're up to. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.